Days after Indian Navy's two aircraft carriers INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant were spotted sailing together in the Arabian Sea, the Indian Navy today unveiled that the mission was part of a multi-carrier operations demonstration involving both carrier groups, including more than 35 fighter jets and helicopters off India's eastern seaboard. The exercise involved seamless integration of both aircraft carriers along with a diverse fleet of ships, submarines and aircraft showcasing India's technological expertise in the maritime domain. The engine division of HAL will produce the F-414 INS-6 engine in India, and General Electric will establish a robust network of medium and small business suppliers in the country for the engine program, in which TAR to advanced systems will become a tier 1 partner for the engine program. HAL will facilitate the transfer of technology for the F-414 engines, and outsource the manufacturing of engine modules and components to create a comprehensive ecosystem, and HAL will retain responsibility for engine assembly inspection testing depot overhaul and warranty related tasks. A HAL delegation held a meeting with Argentine Air Force officials, and the focus of the discussion was the export of Prachand light combat helicopter, that had captured the attention of the Argentine Air Force officials during the Aero India 2023. The chief of the Argentine Air Force was given a detailed tour of the Prachand, and a team of Argentinian pilots had the privilege of exploring the helicopter, providing them with valuable insights into its performance and potential applications. HAL is eager to establish a local setup in Argentina to enhance its export prospects in the Latin American market. In a significant development, India is considering a potential deal to sell BrahMos missiles to Vietnam, and this proposed agreement is estimated to be valued at up to $625 million. Discussions between India and Vietnam are underway, and the finalization of the deal is expected in the next few months. That would mark a significant milestone in the defense collaboration between the two countries. Cochin Shipyard has secured the position of the lowest bidder for a 300 crore rupees contract with the Indian Navy, and under the proposed agreement, Cochin Shipyard will undertake the construction and supply of support vessels to the Indian Navy. These vessels are essential for various naval operations, including logistics support, surveillance and patrolling. The National Security Guard is procuring a hexacopter and a coaxial quadcopter drone from Rafi Fibra Private Limited, that will initially be used for trial purposes. These drones are to be armed with warheads, and further orders will be placed after trials are over. The NSG has already procured twin kamikaze drones from an Indian company Vortex UAS, in which the first drone breaks the window to gain access to the building, and the second drone destroys the target. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has announced, that on 13th May, it will launch the fourth large survey vessel and third anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft, and will also hold the key laying ceremony of the seventh anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft. The large survey vessel will conduct full-scale coastal and deep water hydrographic surveys, while the anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft will undertake anti-submarine duties, mine laying and defense against intruding aircraft. Oh, my God.